try out a new... Another criminal on the loose. Job's yours if you want to track him down. Great. I'm in your debt. Well, until I pay you, that is. Always look out for sales. You never know when I'm not one of them. Oh, hello. I can't believe you got me. I thought I'd never get caught. Sure, you'll get your money for turning me in. But don't start thinking you're making a difference or anything. I'll be back. You can take me back, but no jail can hold me. I'll be out again in a week. Just you wait and see. The robbery rates will plummet with fingers here behind bars once and for all. Thanks for this. You're a true hero. Here's your reward. You said this cemetery would be loads of fun, and now it's... Oh. Well, I'm not getting it. Have Livy here get it. Who? Oh, right. Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. 
This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. We just want someone to have a chat with. I can't believe you. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Ah, genius. Problem solved. Now, the thing is, the book is in Millfields. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. You'll have that book over my dead body, she used to say. Which was eerily prescient. So all you have to do is dig it up. Mum's grave is in Millfields. Yeah, you already said that, didn't you? Ah, hello. Oh, my God. 
weed out those hollow men with no trouble at all. Perhaps you should keep that book. With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. And it's a bit uncomfortable, frankly. Well, I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure. But once ignited, the flames of wanderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms, and perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. If you want to head east towards the ominous ruin, turn to page two. To go west towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. To head north towards the snow-covered mountains, turn to page 156. If you want to go south, which is back home, read this page again. Welcome to the... What should we do? Be bold. We'll just... What if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? All right, if that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section, but we'll do it boldly. Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to. We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost Pantry? Must be where the snacks are kept. Ghost pants? That sounds interesting. Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Ghost party! Brilliant! Right, let's have that then. Now then. <clears throat> Necrus, Rhysius, Cordroy! This is fantastic! Thank you! I reckon this is the wildest party I've ever been to! <laughs> Although you could count the parties I've been to on one hand, and that hand would have four of its fingers cut off. So, what did you die of then, love? Welcome to the Sanctuary.
stamp my renewal. It's you, the, the hero who entered the reliquary and survived. How, how splendid to have you back at the Academy. From the moment we first met, I knew you were someone who understood the value of knowledge, of learning. It's one of the things that sets you apart from your brother. As you know, King Logan closed the Academy and cut all our funding. I don't know whether he considers education a waste of time or a threat to his power. Your father believed the Academy should archive information and make it available to all. And I share that belief. We have many books here, yet many more languish in obscurity. If they're not found, their wisdom will be lost forever. The Academy needs a hero as much as the people of Albion do. Will you help us to retrieve these rare tomes? Oh, thank the gods of documentation! The Academy will continue to grow. Of course, it will still be closed by royal decree, but let us tackle one problem at a time. Whenever you find a book in your travels, bring it to my desk and I will give it a good home. I know of several that exist and have already prepared displays for them. All you have to do is to place them accordingly. Always a joy to get a book. Thank you. Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure. But once ignited, the flames of wanderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms and perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. If you want to head east towards the ominous ruin, turn to page two. To go west, towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. To head north, towards the snow-covered mountains, turn to page 156. If you want to go south, which is back home, read this page again. Welcome to the Sanctuary. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place has been closed down. And I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. But you think you're the only one who has problems? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh... Look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go I hope you're not looking for somewhere to stay. Because this anyway. place is about to close. For good. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiance back. I tried to work up the courage to rescue her. Damn that ferret and his gang! They've got everyone living in fear, even me! But if I had you with me, you could go in there and show them what fear really is. We could rescue my fiance, put ferret out of business, and I could keep the shelter open. Please. If not for me, 
Do it for the poor people who depend on this place. Oh, thank you. My poor love. It's been agony being apart from her. And it's about time those thugs faced justice. The rough kind. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks. But now this is outrageous. I know where they are. They demanded I bring them the ransom in a week's time. But I'll bring them something better. Laszlo! You just cost me a bit of gold, mate. I bet old Harry would take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, he's the bagman. And that gold doesn't leave his hands until my fiancé's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. you how elated I am to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with his burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiance from whatever filthy corner you're keeping her in, or my associate is going to start collecting heads and piling them upon the table. My initial judgment of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart after all. Lads, tear it out. You talk you out to it, get ground. is the most destructive tool ever devised by man. It has forever changed the face of warfare, allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no effort. Scholars have begun to speculate. Could this formidable development destroy the concept of chivalry? Perhaps even that of mercy? Only time will tell, and this troubling debate has only just begun. Also, gunpowder is used in fireworks to we celebrate various yourself, occasions. Though. And if this you lay off even but a quite small doesn't. one in your hand, we it nearly got off on the wrong very, foot. very badly. I'm no I threat to you without my men. And I'm only too happy to return your fiance. I can be quite accommodating. Get on with it then. Well, the thing is, she's actually not on the premises exactly at the uh, present time. She's incarcerated within a nearby facility, shall we say. That access hatch will provide you with, well, access. The sewer? <laughs> you fellas are a sophisticated lot. Please, go and get her. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. A gun. I really did mischaracterize you. Yeah, well, I live in a bad neighborhood. I wonder whose fault that is. Now don't move. Who are you? Where's my fiance? 
say? He sent me to rescue you. Oh, you qualified? I'm not sure I should just follow some complete stranger. Oh, how forward. Well, all right. I suppose it is a bit daft hanging around here. If you told me a year ago that I'd one day find myself wading through the sewers of Bowerstone Industrial, I'd have thought you mad. In fact, if you said it today, I'd say the same thing. Because it is mad. There's just no other way to look at it. As if the smell and the cloying damp weren't bad enough, then there are swarms of bats. Ugh, disgusting creatures. What the heck are those? I never want to see one of those again. Hobbs, right? <sighs> They're just as horrible as I've always had. Children disappear from Balster and Jasper in the middle of the night. Their society is invisible across the past and nobody knows them. Nothing happens in Jasper without his say so. I mean, really, who else cares what happens to the homeless? Reaver wants that shelter so he can turn it into a, a whorehouse or a casino or something. I suppose I should be flattered that such an important scumbag had me abducted. It's going to be a good day when Reaver falls. He's done a lot of harm to a lot of decent people. We should be nearly there. Nearly back to... Laszlo?
We made it. Look, before we go back to Laszlo, I just want to say... You were amazing. I mean, you are amazing. I used to use the word when I was telling my friends about Laszlo. But next to you, he looks a bit boring now, doesn't he? Do I really want to spend my life with a man like that? What do you think? You're right. Better to stay with him. Maybe I couldn't do any better. You never know. Geraldine, oh, my head. That weasel Nigel Ferret must have struck me when my back was turned. Oh, darling, thank goodness you're all right. Thank you so much. You've saved the most important person in my life. I'm forever in your debt. I was so worried about you. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm gonna stuff your dead body and use it as a court stand.
I'm on my way to the castle to report to your brother, and to try to find out what I can about his troop movements while I'm there. Ben's in the back room, arguing with Paige. Not an entirely unexpected situation. Ben seems to have a way with a fair sex. A strange, troubled way. Tell you. I'm telling you, I downed three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. Well, will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, here he is. Ask him yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a prince, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on, but we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here. You'll have to wear this. Great! Where's my costume? Well, I still can't come. What, even after the three hollow men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll st Stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. God. I knew I should have gone up to the castle this swiftly. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Whatever you do, please don't let Mr. Finn follow you. I've had enough of him for one day. I'll see you at the Weaver's Manor. The sanctuary shop has some new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not have a look? That suit should allow you to blend in anywhere. So long as anywhere is a fancy masquerade ball attended by high-ranking members of society. Wear it in any other environment, you'd probably be slightly conspicuous. No one on Bowerstone has better products. Don't blame me for the prices. Blame the thriving economy.
Hello. Hmm. That really does suit you. Brings out the color in your eyes. Shall we? Bit late, aren't you? You missed half the rituals and all the drinking. All we've got left is fizzy pop. Um, we apologize. Oh, yeah. Well, just give me the password and we'll forget all about it, all right? Uh, the password? No, I'm just pulling your leg. Come on in. Master Reeve will be happy to have a few more conscious people around for the final ceremony. I wasn't kidding about the fizzy pop, though. These lightweights drank the lot. There's probably some cooking sherry left in the kitchen if you're desperate. Nah, no, don't blame you. Never touch the stuff myself. Well, except in the mornings. I can sort you out a nice orgy later on, should the mood take you. What do you say? Just keep walking, you strange little man. Of course, of course, you'll have to pardon me, miss. I do have a habit of spouting the odd vulgarity. Master Weaver has often brought out his whip to rectify that very flaw with my character. It's just this way. Oh, you'll have such fun. Not drinks and orgies fun, you know, but it'll be a real laugh, I'm sure. Now, there are some ground rules. Master Reaver insists that nobody carries weapons into the ballroom. There have been some accidents. I'm afraid I need to keep mine. I'm here to find some friends. Oh, you're the brave noble rebels. Why didn't you say so? I'm an oppressed proletarian myself, you know. We're practically comrades. If you just go through these doors, you can sneak past the party and rescue your fellow revolutionaries. There's one of my men. Kid, are you all right? Get out, now. Where are the others? All dead. Reaver knew you'd come. He's been waiting for you. What? I'll get him out. My, my, my! More busy little bees here to steal Reaver's honey. So industrious. 
to committee. Bloody annoying. When will you people learn to enjoy life? I'll enjoy killing you. Does that count? Oh, you're just full of spunk, aren't you? A true heroine. You must be lightning under the bedsheets. And now, as promised, the evening's piece de la resistance. Another piece of the resistance. <laughs> Voila! Do try to put on a good show for my guests, won't you? Show? You expect us to entertain you? Uh, but of course! It's just a game, my little sweet. The Wheel of Misfortune. It's rather simple. I spin, you die, we watch. Really, it's, it's a riot. <laughs> Why, no less than the most unsightly, most obnoxious creatures ever to contaminate this world. Super. Sorry for those repugnant beasts. Then one shrugs and waits for the next piece of carnage. Reva's worse than I thought. What kind of mind dreams up something like this? Like the tales of my greatest conquests, the wheel simply demands to be spun. 
What delicious fate will it deliver this time? Ah, it's just not a real party without the elegant shuffles of these gentlemen, so hallowed and yet so hollow. Come on, the sooner we make our way through this sick game, the sooner we'll get our chance to kill Reva. Let the tearing of limbs commence! Chop, chop! had to spoil it all by not dying. I'd read about hollow men before, but I'm not sure I ever believed in them. This better end soon. Exquisite circumference regale us with violent thrills. Ah, yes! I paid these bloodthirsty mercenaries out of my own pocket. With gold I took from the people, but still, 
They'd better not disappoint. Mercenaries. Finally. Something I know how to fight. Their literacy may be lacking, but they do have a way with swords. Away we go! about having One dies first. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sand Fury! Are 
enthralling. Of course, you should be ashamed of yourselves treating foreign visitors in such an unsociable manner. Oh, well. I've really had enough of this. than thou idealists, always thinking in the simplest, most binary of ways. But I quite agree. This game grows tiresome, and my guests, they grow restless. No need to get restless, sweetheart. Barry Hatch is here to take care of you. Fancy a quick jig. it is to find good stuff. Still, one might as well enjoy the show. What's the use of a secret society without a little secret after all? This can't be happening. What are they? about your true nature would seem to be correct.
This is the last party I take you Look to. Out. Well, I must say, you've made me out to be a somewhat poor host. Rather rude of you to dispose of all my guests. Now it's your turn, Reaver. Oh, my dear girl, why not stop all this bickering? The three of us could go up to my quarters and have a private party. Do you have any idea who this is? It's Logan's brother, the prince. The king's brother, a bona fide hero. Well, I wouldn't dream of coming between siblings. Well, that's, that's not strictly true. There was that time. <sighs> anyway, best of luck with this whole revolution hey, luck. Come back. Perhaps we'll meet again one day. Tatty bye. Bloody coward. Would someone mind getting us out of here now? I never thought I'd side with royal blood, but you're nothing like your brother. The Bowerstone Resistance will follow you without question. So long as you promise to change things when you take the throne. Poverty, children forced to work, people living in fear. You have to make it stop. I promise. We should get back. We've got a revolution to plan. You have the support of Bowerstone and its underground resistance, but you still have much to do before you can take Albion's throne.
commence shortly. What's going on? All citizens gather at the castle for the king's message. The speech will commence short. This is never good. You should find out what it's about. I'd come with you, but there's a reason we stay underground. We'll see you at the base when it's over, all right? As you can see, your promise to Paige is now on the wall. I hope everything is in. Anyone can dress as a prince, but no one pulls it off quite as you do. Well, that's not the way most people would go. I applaud you. Enough already. That's disgusting. Getting struck by lightning is a very bad thing. Usually, it'll kill you outright. You have a one in two million chance of being struck by lightning. The best defense is never to go outside during a storm. Even safer, don't go outside at all, ever. Find a nice big building like an observatory and just hide in there. My dear Reaver, you're a sallow-faced peanut brain jack of apes Yours sincerely, Arthur.
I knew that safe. Make your way to the castle for the King's speech! has an important announcement to make. Head to the castle now. Make your way to the castle for the King's speech!
King Logan will address his subjects shortly. Your head's coming off, and soon. Yes, traitors walk amongst us. Traitors plot to end us. Traitors would have you believe their cause is noble. They wear many masks. They may look like your friends. They may even look like your most loyal servants. This, this is the face of a traitor. Swift. Major Swift, a respected member of the army and sworn servant of the kingdom has plotted against us all. He was apprehended attempting to turn loyal soldiers against us and is thus charged with espionage, treason, and conspiracy. <gasps> Yet there are still others darkening our land with their betrayal. We shall hunt these traitors down, wherever they may be. And they shall suffer the same fate as Major Swift, the fate of all enemies of the crowd. He has to be stopped. No matter what it takes, he has to be... Come on, we need to tell the others. Shine Reeve has disappeared, really. Always wanted to sneak into one of his wild oh, parties. Oh, hello. You are looking pretty great. Hmm. Interesting. Have you heard about the massive sale? Welcome to the Sanctuary. That appears to be all of the gifts.
Ben told us what happened. Swift was a good friend. He died like a true soldier. Ha! <laughs> a true soldier? Let's not pretend there was anything noble about the way he died. He was tortured, humiliated, and murdered. And he didn't give Logan anything, or we'd be dead now. I call that noble. It was just a matter of time before Logan did this. Before he decided to hunt us down. We have to fight back. We're still not ready, though. We need more allies, and thanks to Swift's efforts, we know exactly where to look. Before he was executed, the Major managed to send us a message. A soldier still loyal to the old guard brought it to me. A great risk to his life. What does it say? Well, this is Swifty we're talking about, so it's rather straightforward. You will find allies in Aurora. I still don't understand how anyone there could help us. Aurora is a dead land. There's nothing there. Or at least, that's what we've been told. It's still the only lead we have, anyway. Can we get on with the plan? I have an overwhelming urge to shoot someone. First thing, we'll need a ship. You and Ben will get hold of one, while Paige and I make sure the rest of the fleet doesn't follow. You'll need to go via the back alleys, and they'll be crawling with soldiers. Not a problem. I know my way around the place. I'll meet you at the back of the sewers. We're gonna show Logan just what traitors can do. Go on. My men are putting together the materials we'll need. It should be quite a display. Aurora is a distant place. It could be a while before we return. If there's things you need to do, now's the time. You know, Swift taught me almost everything I know about being a soldier. Let's show these bastards how it's done. We need to get to the far end of the dock, so probably best not to shoot until we have to. Come on. Uh, leave the talking to me. I have an idea. Stop. Only Royal Guard allowed. Oh, I know, but can I just say, wow, <laughs> you look so stylish, you know, with the, the helmets and everything, and me and my friend were wondering if we could join you, because, I mean, you just make us ordinary soldiers feel so inadequate. Leave. Oh, come on. Don't you have any leaflets or application forms we could take with us? If we could just get inside and get your autographs, we are huge fans. Leave, or we will be forced to terminate you. Hmm, see? Even their vocabulary is stylish. I've been trained by the best! Okay, you haven't got a chance! I, I didn't really have an idea.
Let's get out of here. The docks are just around the corner. Wow. That should keep the bastards occupied. Come on, the way to the ship should be clear. Oh, maybe not. after all. But what about Paige? She's staying behind. Someone needs to organize things here. Now come on! Well, it's not much, but at least it floats. That's what counts. Or, you know we could take this one and then not drown as soon as we leave port. <laughs> Even better. I've got a good feeling about this voyage. Are you all right? Yes. Ben's not here? No. Looks like we didn't all make it. I only hope... Well, maybe he washed up somewhere else. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, the only way forward seems to be through a rather ominous cave.
Before we go any further, I'd just like to say one thing. So this is what Aurora looks like then. I was hoping it'd be a little less... cavey. Hello? Sounds like the dogs found something. Well, you never know. It might be a luxury inn. No bats. He found... bats. Good work, boy. Bats are exactly what we needed right now. What do you think happened to Ben? He's a strong swimmer. Probably reached a sandy beach somewhere. Palm trees. Beautiful women. Coconut cocktails. Jammy bastard. What the hopping hobs is that? It must be protecting something. Like the way out, most likely. I'll tell you one thing, we haven't got this far, haven't got this many people behind us to end up dying in some forsaken, far-off hole in the ground. Well, wherever we are, we're not the only ones who got stuck in this damn place. most encouraging side in the world, is it? Still, they might have something useful on them. Why don't you check the second lot over there? I found something. A note. It speaks to us still. Darkness incarnate. We know now we can never escape it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, I've got something too. One of these poor sods left a journal. Most of the pages have disintegrated, but well, you can still see plenty of weird symbols. It's mostly gobbledygook anyway. I mean, listen to this nonsense. Luminous spirits of the sands impart daybreak and gleam under a quiet moon. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Look at that. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> Does look somewhat dark, though. Oh, maybe going down isn't such a good idea. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you lead the way if you're so tough? You know how I said it looked somewhat dark? Well, I'd like to amend that statement. We're looking into utter, total, complete darkness. Oh, what have you got there, boy? Ha! Ah, you little genius. Good boy. Oh, no, that's better. think this place is? I have no idea. Temple of some sort? What could anyone possibly worship in here? Hmm. No, we're not going any further. This way. Looks like a bridge. 
Is that the mechanism to raise it on the other side? Isn't that handy? One of us will have to get across to use it. There must be some other way to get there. Aside from here. Okay, be careful now. That thing's probably pretty stiff, and we don't want to make any more noise. Stand back. Walter the Scholar will deal with this. Mm, with an increasing sense of trepidation, admittedly. Luminous spirits of the sands, inhale the restless gloaming. Whoa! There you go. What can I say? I have a knack for gibberish. Do you ever get the feeling somebody's playing games with us? All the time. Let's just be thankful and get through this place as quickly as we can. The light you bring will die. The light inside you will die. Who's there? All that you are Show will yourself. die. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> the children are here to play. What are they? Can you hear that sweet music playing in your veins? That's our heartbeat. The children put it there to love. Do you know how to love? It's insane. Watch your flesh tap to the night. Watch your thoughts turn to black. Watch your veins turn to black. Never wash out. The sun will never shine upon you again. Tainted, broken little toys. It's all right. We're all right. We, we just have to keep going, that's all. We're all, all right.
this book and whoever wrote it. The bastards. Why didn't they tell us what was down here? Darkness and calm. Mike was supposed to know what that means. It won't stop till it kills us. I think we must be close to an exit. There's a cold breeze. Can you feel it? There's that sound again. It's almost like... No! Not the light! Not the bloody light! Keep walking, and, and we'll get out of here, and we'll we'll be all right. We are coming. It's here. We will devour your kingdom. There will be no bargains. There will be only darkness. The children command it. my head back there, I know. I've never liked dark caves, but this, it's as if someone took my worst nightmare and made it real. But it's gone now. It's gone! And we're going to be fine. Looks like the only way is down. Good evening. Right. Wait. Just wait. I'll need a moment to prepare myself for this. But don't let me stop you. You all right down there? Yes! 
It isn't far down. Right, here I come then. Three, two, one. Die. You let us take him, but you're glad, are you not? You wished him down. You wished him
the world see that thing it blinded me i can't see it's okay walter i'm here we have to get out quickly it's still out there we need to leave You can hear it too, can't you? It is there. I'm not mad. I can't see anything. Take me to the light, please. Are we out? Did we get away? Yes. We're safe now. What can you see? A desert. I can feel the heat and the sand. But whatever that thing did to me, it's like it, it sucked all the light from inside me. I still can't see anything. Just don't let go. Careful. Where did you... There's steps up ahead. Where did you go? All right. Okay.
I'm not sure. I don't know how far I can go. Are there no signs of civilization? There's something in the distance. It looks like an enormous statue. How far? It's going to take us a few hours. No, stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. Of course you can. Come on. I'm... I'm too weak. You have to leave me. Listen to me. I can't see. I can barely stand. I, I, I won't just slow you down. I'll get you killed. You have to go on without me. Save me, I'm dead weight now. Stop talking like that. We're going to make it through this. Oh, well, will you listen to me? You have to leave me behind. That thing left you weak too. Don't you think I can tell? What you have to do is too important to risk for an old wreck like me. Listen, you have to go on without me. Don't leave you here. Chloe, you have to. I can't. I, I can't. Walter. It's all right. It's all going to be all right. I'll come back for you. I promise I'll get help. You'll do me proud. I know you'll do me proud. Walter. to die. He's calling for you, while the children spread out his heart to the I skies. I, I can't take this right now. This world is ours. We will smother every light, every last breath, from that, every last now. What's happening? Don't leave us here forever and ever and ever! You try to run away, but you are made of sand. You are falling apart between our fingers. The people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. Fight! This is important. Come on! He would have done anything for you. Now he screams alone. He curses you. Not even in death will he forgive you. Your strength is ebbing. 
We can feel it. My brigade had been pinned down by the enemy. Until there was just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave. But they never came after us. They just blew the entrance. Sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light. No food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us! Let it go out! Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left! You're gone! All gone! He's still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun? Typical royalty. You had me worried there for a while. Walter! Don't worry. We'll find him. You just sit tight, my friend. Can you help them? The young one will be fine. He is strong. We need to tend to the older one at once. Hang in there, Walter. How is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there... Well, I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, And I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on water.
You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. 